Okay, so it's April 1, 2021. And wow, this is the day. Tiny, are you ready for your microchip? Hmm? Are you ready for your microchip? No, pinakabahan ako, pero kailangan ng microchip for international travel. So, here we go. Wish us luck. Ako yung kinaba, hindi na ako nakapag-video nung may microchip si Tiny. Pero hindi siya umayak. Sobrang gaan ng kamay ni Doc Ardo sa Peralta Vet Clinic dito sa uh, sa Matayo. Better living pa rin niya kay Oh my gosh! Woo! Tiny is such a good girl! Hindi man lang umiyak. Sobrang bilis lang. So, kung gusto niya ipa-microchip yung mga aso ninyo, just go to um, Peralta Vet Clinic dito sa, sa Better Living. Oh my gosh! Hindi ko alam yung nararandaman ko ngayon. Masaya ako na nanginginig pa rin ako kasi kinakabahan ako kanina pa. Oh my gosh, Tiny's super! I'm so proud of you, Tiny! Now you've got a microchip! Oh my gosh, thank you, Lord! Ah! Masakit na puso ko! Finally. Okay. Sorry, hindi ko na video yan nung may microchip si Tiny kasi kinabahan talaga ako. So, nakalimuta ko i-video. But, let's try it out. Tiny. Reading. Reading. Oh. Yeah. Tiny. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Tiny. <laughs> Thank you, Hi. Dr. Carlo. Hi. Thank you. Alright, so it has been a month already of me training Tiny in her carrier. And she's quite comfortable already, as you can see. Yeah, wish us luck on May 6, Tiny's first ever flight to the U.S. Well, you look at that. Are you ready, Tiny, for the long haul? I guess she is. <laughs> I'm sure na madami sa inyo curious kung um, paano ko nagawa or yung process ko para I can travel with my dog Tiny in cabin sa aeroplano. Kailangan niya muna pumili ng airline na dog friendly, na pet friendly. And yung napili namin, Korean Air. You have to call the airline mismo kasi May mga airlines ngayon na hindi na nag ng pets in cabin or even sa baggage area. Yun na yung bagong protocol na kasi I tried calling Philippine Airlines, hindi na, hindi na sila nag ng dogs or pets. Yeah, or even emotional support dogs, they don't allow anymore to fly with you. So, oh, so sad. Anyway, um, of course, first for international travel, you need to have your dog microchipped. That's number one. Number two, you have to make sure that all of her vaccinations are all valid. Number three, you need um, uh, a health certificate. Number four, your expert permit from the Bureau of Animal Industry. So, yung kulang ko na lang is yung health, per, uh, health, health certificate and the uh, expert permit. Kukunin ko yun four days before the flight kasi merong expiration date yun. So, um, Tiny will have her pre-departure checkup at Vets and Practice in Alabang. Thank you so much to Dr. Carlo again for referring me. Uh, sila yung magbibigay sa akin ng health certificate ni Tiny after her checkup. And then, ang nakakatuwa sa Vets and Practice, they can help you out na rin with the expert permit from the Bureau of Animal Industry. So, sila na daw bahala doon. So, sakto-sakto, napadali ang buhay ko. Thank you so much to Dr. Carlo Peralta Clinic to vets and practice in Alabang. 
I also forgot to tell you na si Tiny is flying with me not as my emotional support dog but as my pet. Yep, Korean Air rocks as in bibili, bibili ka nga lang ng ticket mo para sa aso mo. Alam niyo kung magkano. $300 siya one way. So, yun. So, anyway, once I have all the papers, konti na lang kailangan ko. Uh, then we are all set. Right, Tiny? We are all set. She's sleeping. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys up in the air with my baby Tiny. Okay, so it's another day and we are just a few steps away from getting all set for the flight Tiny. So, ayaw, tapunta kami ng vets and practice sa Alabang for her pre-departure checkup. You ready, Tiny?
stupid. You just have to poo poo. Why don't you want to poo poo? Let's go poo poo. <laughs>